Hey guys, Chip here, and it's finally done and available. Yes, I'm talking about our latest addition to the Simple Sci-Fi product line. As you may have seen, our original Simple Sci-Fi product was not only extremely powerful and fast, it also had a free version as well. The pro version has been a bestseller since its introduction, and now we're getting ready to step it up a notch with tons of great new features. Of course, the most amazing new feature is the introduction of Sci-Fi Flex, a new add-on that makes things more powerful and most importantly, extremely simple to use. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, let me show you some of the newly generated images that are coming out of our concept development team and beta testers. One of the things we realized was missing from the original product were some large hero elements that could provide focus to a scene, making it even better. And Greasy Bear has done a great job creating many more of these hero kit bash items, items that you can use for creating your own spectacular scenes. We also have a newly updated catalog to help explain the different libraries and generators. It now spans over 50 pages. And we've added a whole new set of geometry objects, which we call D-Packs, and we've named them Y-Panels. These Y-Panel D-Packs work with the existing panels generator to create even more fantastic wall designs. Here are a few of the images that have been created with it. And of course, we have all new documentation explaining all of this, including the star of the show, the brand new Sci-Fi Flex add-on. Our developer, Anthony Argues, has worked with our team to create an exciting new magical add-on. By combining simple sci-fi with an easy-to-use interface, the Flex Blender add-on makes it simple and fun to create new and fantastic sci-fi designs. So what exactly is Sci-Fi Flex? It's a simple add-on that streamlines even more our Geometry Nodes Generator workflow. And now, incredibly, it allows you to propagate D-Packs which, remember, are just collections of objects on any selected faces, edges, and vertices. This opens up a whole new set of possibilities when it comes to creating amazing scenes and renders. You can now add ridiculous detail to city scenes, spaceships, landing bays, quarters, and all sorts of science fiction environments with just a few button clicks. And with the efficiency of geometry nodes instancing, it all happens incredibly fast. Pretty much as fast as you can click on the seed button, you can generate unique and new million face designs and just continue clicking until you find one you like. Flex has the same existing geometry generators from Sci-Fi Pro, and we've added a brand new one as well. This one, called Mesh Generator, allows you to propagate D-Packs on selected faces, edges, and vertices, as shown here. And one of the main advantages of Flex is it's so darn easy to use. We've streamlined the workflow substantially from the original Pro version. We've also updated Pro with new D-Packs, so you can still create 32-bit 8K displacement maps as well as corresponding color and dot maps. Our users are telling us how much fun they're having generating all sorts of sci-fi worlds and designs with both Simple Sci-Fi Pro and the Sci-Fi Flex add-on. And of course, you can create your own D-Packs or edit the ones that come with both Flex and Pro. You're not locked in at all. Even though we're adding so many new features, Sci-Fi Flex will be a free update for simple sci-fi pro owners so let's take a quick look and see how easy and fun it is to use sci-fi flex okay let's talk about simple sci-fi and the flex edition i want to mention that we're going to create parts of this scene fairly quickly so you can understand a little bit about how everything works but the other thing i want to mention is that you're going to get everything to create this scene. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. So if I click here, you see this object. If you go into KitOps and KitOps, you can get KitOps free if you want. We have all of these new K-Packs. We have bottom level Greebles, characters, city heroes, panel heroes, simple sci-fi props, and top level Greebles. So if I look at this panel heroes, for instance, you'll see these little rails here. That's what we're seeing here. And you'll see that this object right here is actually this object right here. There's also other things that you can add, like different kinds of lighting and some of these other widgets. So let's pause here for a second, take a look at some of these K-Packs that are included. So all these yellow icon versions are included. We'll start off with the bottom level Greebles. And so you, as you can see, there's a lot of nice little elements in here that you can use. Now, some of these actually exist as part of the D-Packs that Simple Sci-Fi uses to generate with, but these already have materials applied as well. And then we have the characters, here are the two characters that you're going to get, and they're great for inserting the scene basically at this scale. And like I said, we'll have a whole set of other characters that will price very reasonably. And you'll be able to grab those at Blender Market and Gumroad soon. 
the city heroes are all the objects that Greasy Bear created. Don't forget, you can now add materials directly in the geometry node. There's also this city lights material, and if you drop this onto a city, but you should remember to get it pretty close to the actual ground plane. The panel heroes are the ones we've already talked about. The simple sci-fi props, these are basically all the same from the previous collection. These are Sir Charles decals, and we have some parallax map objects as well. So you just drop these are single plane objects you drop in. So again, these are objects that were included in the original Simple Sci-Fi Pro. And then of course, there are some also top level greebles. So these also have materials applied to them. I'm going to go over here and hide this. Let's talk about the rest of this scene. Well, first off, these two characters are part of a new character K-Pack that we're creating, and we're going to give you two of them. So let's talk about the simple sci-fi element in this scene. First off, we have this one right here. We call this the wall Y panel, and the wall Y panel is created using the simple sci-fi interface, and you'll basically go in here and you'll say panel Y, and then you'll load the panel generator, and then you'll hit the apply generator faces, but we're not gonna do that right now. But what I wanna show you, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide this so you can see this wall. I would just wanna show you how fast generate new versions of this. I've got the seed set to 32, so I'll just click 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I can continue to do this all day long. Also, I can come in here and let's take a look at the top level density. I'm gonna actually move this down a little bit so it's removing items. So you can see there's the bottom level and I can increase it. I can actually decrease and increase the scale of the top level. And it all happens in real time. Incredibly powerful. So let's look at this one right here. So this one is the wall X panel. So it's the same concept, except it's a different kind of panel D-pack that we use for this. And once again, all I have to do is just keep hitting this button and I'm going to completely generate new designs on all of these surfaces. How cool is that? Yeah, I'm going to interrupt real quick because I want to explain just a little bit about how Flex works. So I'm going to basically, let's get out of this view and let's look at this object and we'll see that we have basically, let's go into the object's properties here and we're going to, you know, turn our viewport viz off and this is it. This is basically our whole construction area. Really, Sci-Fi Flex is very simple in concept. So I'm going to tab into here and let's select Let's just select a single face. And with a face selected, we're just gonna go into Sci-Fi Flex and we'll just say, let's just load uh, panel Y. You know, here's the box selected. And then we'll basically use the panel generator and I'll apply the generator to this face. And I could apply it to a bunch of faces, but I'm gonna just do it to this one for now, just to show you what I'm talking about. And then once you've done that, this is what you get. And you've got this new modifier list. Let's make sure that we get rid of the modifiers. So what we did is we copied box and it came with all the previous modifiers. So I just got rid of those. And we've got this new object called box 001. And then we have this flex generator. This is what's called a geometry node modifier. So what we're gonna do here is with this set up like this, I can take the top level density and the bottom level density. I'm gonna just move it up. As you can see, as I move the bottom level density higher, it's gonna generate a lot more objects in there. And I can actually change the density and I can change the size of those objects. Now we go to the top one. Once we have this set up the way we want, we go to the top one and we're gonna just add a little bit of this and I'll basically zero this out. That was around nine. And I add a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna just, you know, change the sizes of these. And then I can just, you know, I can start doing this to find out what I want in here. So I know that this is the size, and this is maybe the density I want for this. And then let's just go ahead and bring in the density back up to like nine, like what we had before. And now we're starting to see what we have, and maybe these need to be a little larger here. So I just keep playing around with these until I get exactly the design that I want. And then we'll go in and we'll uh, modify the material, which each one of these has vertex colors so we can map different materials to it. So anyway, just wanna make sure you understand that with Sci-Fi Flex, you can actually select multiple faces and you can apply any one of these generators to those faces that you select. Okay, back to our regular program. And these objects are the wall mesh generator. And in this case, we use the Rhea D-Pack and we're gonna use this new mesh generator. And when we set the mesh generator up, you'll look at this. Let me turn this off so you can see it. This mesh generator, and I'm actually, I'm gonna turn off some of these others so you can kind of see it a little better. This mesh generator right here puts objects along the edges. So you can see we have an edge collection and we have a vertex collection. So we can put stuff on vertices as well as on the edges of the selected faces. So in this particular case, you can see I can you know just move the number of instances up higher to 
until it's completely maxed out or down. You know, I can move them around that way. I can go down to the seed and I can just start generating different versions there. I can add vertex one. I'll turn the vertex density up. And it's really just going to put things into corners, which are kind of hidden right now. So that's why I have that set to zero. And then we can adjust the seed also. So, you know, you can also adjust the edge scale. So don't forget that's, an, uh, that's something else we can do. And keep in mind, these all work with these collections, right? And they're all hidden. But if you want to view a collection, you know, like let's just look at this top D pack right here that we're using. We're using this Genria top D pack. Let's just click on that for a second. And I'm going to hit the period button. With this, I'll select one of these. And you'll see that here are all of our objects that, that are used for that particular D pack. And they're all specially designed with vertex colors so that they work with this special material that we use for D-Packs. So if you want to learn more about that and how you can design your own D-Packs, we have a video on that as well. So I'm going to turn everything back on and I'm going to show you another type of generator. And that's this here. And actually we're using this for the lights and we're using it for the actual floor as well. So, you know, it's using for here, here, and here. And this one we use some of the paneling D-Packs and we use this thing called a line generator. And what it does is it makes sure everything stays within the actual faces that you select. And it only uses one object from a collection. So if I'm in here looking at this, you'll see I'm using the instance level number 37 in that collection. So if I just click here, I'll get a different set of instances. So I can just kind of generate new designs just by clicking along here. And then I can, of course, scale them down. And by adding more sub D levels, I can increase the amount of objects on those faces. So, okay, guys, that about covers it. So check us out over on Blender Market and on Gumroad, and we'll see you online.